Are you wanting to know what an actual Boston Terrier pet scam looks like? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what one looks like, because I went ahead and reached out to him, sent a few emails, as well as tried to make some phone calls, and here's what I found out. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade, and she's laying low today because she's had some kind of stomach bug. She's had the runs all day. Anyways, today we're talking about pet scams. If you catch the video from Linda, you can check that video out here. She talks about being scammed out of 600 plus dollars whenever she was trying to get a Boston Terrier. And some of you had some questions as far as like, you know, what do these actually look like, the websites? So I went ahead and found a website that's definitely a scam. I've tried to reach out to them a few times. They have sent me some emails, but it is clearly a scam. And I just wanna show you that real life example. And then I wanna show you some things that you can do to help see if it is an actual scam. And above all else, if your gut is telling you it's a scam, then don't use that breeder. Because even if it is a legitimate breeder, but you feel uneasy, you should not be working with them. Because the breeder should be somebody that you can actually go to even after you went ahead and, and got your puppy if you have any, other, any further questions. So if you feel uneasy with them, that's not a relationship you wanna you know, create. So now I just wanna dive into the example so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, the very first thing that I wanna show you is basically how I stumbled across this website. Because I know a lot of you are searching for, you know, Boston Terrier breeders near me or just Boston Terriers near me. And that's a great way to start. But I just want to let you know, these scam artists are actually using Google Ads. So, you know, where you can pay to actually advertise. They're using Google Ads to basically create clickbait for you guys to click on it and then, you know, fall into one of their scams. So do not think that because it is an ad that Google has filtered it in some sort of way. It can still be a scam. And that's how I stumbled across this website here. So Nancy's Boston Terriers Home, this is a clear example of a Boston Terrier scam. And the reason why is because it's stock footage. Most, if not all, Boston Terrier breeders are not gonna use stock footage. They're gonna be using actual footage of their Boston Terriers. And from a lot of other breeders that I've gone to, they're gonna have pictures of themselves with their Boston Terriers. A lot of these are show breeders, so you're actually gonna see them competing in shows, them winning medals or ribbons, things of that nature. Yeah, I'm obviously not a show dog person. I'm not sure if it's ribbons or medals, but you can correct me in the comments below. But they're gonna be showing because they're proud of their Boston Terriers. And so here's their available puppies. And you can see a lot of these are stock photos. And I'm gonna show you an example of what you can do. But the big thing that I wanna get out of this is go to their about section. This is always the dead giveaway. Is whenever you go to the about me section and there's never any photos of them in their Boston. That's a huge red flag. I wouldn't even talk to a breeder if they do not have pictures of themselves and their Boston Terriers. Now I'm sure some there might be somebody out there that doesn't have a picture of themselves with their Boston Terrier, but I would just steer clear of it. So now you got, that's the second red flag. So one, stock images of Boston Terriers where it looks like stock footage. Number two, no pictures of themselves and Boston Terriers. Number three is the testimonials, because I always see testimonials on these scam websites. And when you go to them, there's no picture of a dog it's just somebody saying, you know, this it's just text. It's always their first and middle and or first and then just initial of their last name. So that's the third strike as far as being a scam. Of course, they have tons of testimonials, but no photos of the Boston Terrier. Then the fourth thing, whenever you're going to a scam website, is you go to their puppies. Once again, you know, we got Bella from a Boston Terrier breeder. As far as when they're puppies, none of these puppies look like they came from the same litter. So, and they're all 11 weeks old. See that puppy, and then this one came, and that is, I don't know, to me that is not like 11 week old puppy, but apparently all these came from the same litter, and they're 11 weeks old. Okay, so that's the fourth red flag, is they look, well, older than a an 11 week old Boston Terrier to me, and they don't look like they came from the same litter. The fifth red flag, the sweet money spot for these Boston Terrier scam artists, it seems is $600. You go anywhere online, it's normally 600, maybe 750 is that scam artist price. And so all of them, of course, are $600. And now if you're interested, let's go ahead and click here. So the sixth thing that I wanna point out to this website, so once I clicked on you know Sparks here, is the related products. 
No Boston Terrier breeder is going to refer to their Boston Terriers as products. And if it's on the website, they would be embarrassed to even show it on their website because their Boston Terriers are not products. They're part of their family and it's part of their dog's lineage. They're not going to refer to them as products. So that's strike number six. Okay, we're going to get into strike number seven. And that is, so Flora here, I decided, you know, I want to get more information on Flora. So I clicked on her. I filled out the information that it requested. They had gotten back to me the same day. Um, this was a week ago, right? And I haven't messaged them back or anything, but this was a week ago. This was the email that I received. So, you know, dear sir, or madam, remember I put in all my information as far as my first name, you know, dear sir, or madam, that just kind of catches me off guard. But the number seven was this. So if you go down here, we are currently on a 50% reduction on all puppies till next month. So the cost for Flora is $600. So no Boston Terrier breeder is going to sell their Boston Terriers at a reduced price. Like there is no flash sale for Boston Terriers. So that's the seventh red flag, you know, 50% off. And then this is one of the red flags because I could see some legitimate breeders, you know, wanting a deposit up front, which most legitimate breeders will ask for a deposit. But here it says, in order to schedule a visit, you are supposed to put a refundable deposit of $300 on Flora, which is refundable, right? But I just think it's funny because it says stop by any time if you go to the website to come check out the parents and everything. And they're making you put money up front before you can even come to their place of business. Now, the eighth red flag is the phone number. So, you know, that 405-383-8397, I've tried to call it several different times. The tech now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hi, this is Donnie Gardner. Hey, if you can give me a call back because I'm interested in your puppy, Flora, I'd really appreciate it to see what I can do in order to schedule a time to have her shipped over to my house. Thanks. Bye. I'm never going to get a call back. So I'll keep leaving voicemails. If anything ever happens, I'll let you know in following videos. But that's the eighth red flag as far as having a phone number that does not actually go anywhere. So let's say you went ahead and went through this process and you're like, you know, because they sent me photos because they she actually sent me photos of Flora here. And you're like, but I still want to get this Boston Terrier or I still want to do some research to see if it actually is fraud. So what you can do at this point, you can download one of their photos. So Flora here, I downloaded this one. And then if you just go to Google, just do Google image reverse search. And so I did that, click on the first one. So images Google, then you take their photo and you just drop it in. So just pick it up, drop it in. And so nothing's gonna pop up here. You wanna scroll to the bottom and here we go. Pages that included matching images. And so you can see here that she was actually on Nora Boston Terrier puppies. So if you click on that, now this one was not found because the website has been taken down. So what you can do is you click it right here. And then if you click on Catchied, I can never say that word. It's where websites save their information. So the last time it appeared was September 8th. So you can check out that information. And then if you scroll down, you can find Flora, right? And she's on that website too. So one of these websites is lying, probably both. Both are for sure lying, and one of them's actually been taken down. So you can, that was the number one thing you can do is do that reverse search of the image and see what pops up. Because this, you know, does not look like a stock image, but it's clearly been used on other websites. The second thing that you can do is literally type in the name of that Boston Terrier website, put scam at the end, and see what pops up. I will say this, these scam artists are popping up websites all the time. So they bring them up for maybe a month or two and then bring them down. There might not be any information on there. And that's just because they're building these websites and taking them down and building another website before people have a chance to actually put scam all over the internet regarding that website. So I hope these examples help you at least on your search for getting a Boston Terrier. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. Definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel if you wanna get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. And once again, Always remember, trust your gut. If it doesn't feel right, then do not proceed with developing a relationship with that particular breeder. And if you are looking for a reputable Boston Terrier breeder, 
check the Boston Terrier Club of America. I'm gonna leave their information in the show notes below because they have a breeder referral program where these breeders actually follow the Boston Terrier breed standard so you know you're getting Boston Terriers that are bred to the proper standard. If you wanna learn more about pet scams, you can definitely check out the playlist that I created here or one of my latest videos here. And as always, until next time, life is better with the Boston.